welcome, ladies and gentlemen, down to the Cottonwood Golf Club in Castleton, North Dakota, for the final round of the Cottonwood Classic. I'm joined by my colleagues, uh, Jordan Lee, and special guest Rob Lee, short game expert and commissioner of the Bourgeois Cup. Welcome. Good, good morning, folks. Well, it looks like the golfers are approaching the first tee. Jordan looks to be first up here. Yep, that's Jordan Lee. Looks like he's going to start out with a driver here on this. What is it, a par four or par, par five? Four. Par four. Par four. Nice, pretty new club he's got there. Beautiful. Looking quite dapper. He looks to start off with his patented fade here. It's looks short. It looks to be in the right rough, I would say. Looks like good form. Here comes Brandon. A little tip of the hat to the crowd. Been playing real well this far of uh, this year in the Bourgeois Cup. He needs to pull his pants up a little bit. Yeah, seems. I'm not real impressed with those. Uh, slacks he's wearing. Going yep. with a hybrid off the tee, it appears. They do appear to be slacking. Oh! He's got nice form. He reminds me a lot of Justin Rose. Not the greatest of starts there. Bit of a worm burner. Yeah, I wish he'd wear some decent pants. It's really bothered me. What's he got here? Looking like he's got about 200 and something yards here to the hole still. He's trying to give himself an angle. Doesn't look too disappointed with that shot. Hung it out to the right a bit. Jordan just just escaped uh, being behind that tree, it looks like. Makes clean contact. Looks to be short. We're here in early April, too. Uh, the grass seems to be just greening. Yeah, I notice there's not many leaves on the trees. No. <laughs> None at all. Here's yeah. Brandon's approach. Here's third shot. And that's well done from there. Seems to be nestled up. Little tip of the hat. One thing you notice here at the cottonwood is the greens are quite small. Like it might have had a little winter kill on the grass. Some nice little chip shot. Maybe looking, nice maybe looking the fret will run a little bit more, but that's uh, turned out pretty well. Brandon for par. Oh! Just hung it out to the left there. Just a bit outside. Not the start he was looking for, I don't believe, but. Let's see here, this is Jordan to clean up his par as well. Yeah, it looks like about the same distance. If he wants to score well, these are ones that have to go in. Oh. Never up, never in. He's had that problem uh, for a couple weeks now on the tour. Well, here's kind of the signature of the Castleton's course here. It's a 115-yard par 3 sand trap in the front. Just 115, huh? That's it. And oh, He's hit a worm burner up there. He should be all right, though. Yeah, there shouldn't be many worms out today. <laughs> <laughs> so as we see, Brandon hit his tee off shot here. Uh, Commissioner, what do you what do you think of the tour this year uh, and its competitiveness? It's pretty tight running between the two of these guys. I noticed uh, similar games and uh, very competitive. Let's see here is Jordan's chip shot here just left the green pin high. Not bad for how he was acting after his tee yeah. shot though. Yeah, it kind of he got bailed out there. Here's Brandon's chip, chip just a little bit behind him. Oh, he's landed at about a yard short. Yeah. He's got a long far putt here. It's like about ten feet. Brandon's been putting very well this season so far. Ooh, he drains it. Knocks it in for par. Gives a little fist pump. Right on cue. Jordan with a short par putt. It's a nice chip. Just like I talked earlier, this these have to go. And it does. Nicely done. Center of the cup. Keep space. Now on to the 
third hole here at the Cottonwood. It's a par five. Par five. Straight away. Jordan. Both these players usually can get on in two, I've noticed. Tremendous drive from both of these guys. Oh, he looks a little disappointed. Seems, uh, Seems to have headed right a bit. He's brightening up the tee. That one starts right and stays right. Looks like it was struck well, though. Right is usually okay in most courses around here on the JBG Tour. I don't know if the guys are these two guys are really familiar with this course. Is this their first time there? Um, they've played it in past Bourgeois Cups, but not very often. They don't really get around on their uh, off-season to these courses. And have never played it this early in the year. It plays a lot, a lot different um, later in the year as well. Fairways seem to be maybe a little narrower than other courses. Second shot here, yes. Well, uh, slightly, it's uh, let's come out right again. It's a little disappointed once again. But it shouldn't. Here's where Jordan usually struggles, not giving himself an come open out, shot. Come on, pretty high there. Oop, gets a good kick off the sand. Should be putting for birdie. Not bad. He'll take it. Is this Brandon's third shot? It is here as he flops it over the tree, and he's on the green. Also okay. putting for birdie. And two birdie putts. Ooh, this is a lengthy one. It's like, what, 20, 25 feet? There's a little ledge. It's hard to tell on the on your screens here, but the little ledge right there, and it kind of just... Wow, didn't that really, really slowed it up. Didn't really roll out. I didn't yeah. think he had that planned. Fairly short putt here for Birdie. It's like about six foot. I would back off that yeah, one. Yeah, I think he should have backed off, too. We'll see what happens. Oh, no worries. Wow. Nicely done. Perfect pace. He's back to even. This is Jordan just to clean up his par. And he drops it. Nicely done. A little gesture to the crowd. Brandon on the par four. Fourth hole. Looks like Brandon has uh, attained the, the box. <laughs> Indeed he has. That's one goal he said was to obtain box and not give it back. Jordan with his tee shot. He's sticking with driver. Going for the early tee pickup. Those new Nike clubs sure are beautiful. I agree. Pretty blue color on there. Looks like he's got about 170. Found himself in the center of the fairways. Push this one out a little bit to the right. And short. Not pleased with it. Brandon playing out of number three fairway. Seems Has to a... be the trend. <laughs> Has a good angle into the green from here. That's another thing I've noticed uh, with Brandon's driver. His misses, he's had shots. Oh, and look at this. Ay caramba. Hope he doesn't break that. This is almost a reverse club. cowgirl <laughs> attempt. Should have been taken here. Oh. Well, made clean contact on it. Conventional. Not enough. This chip. This will be for par. It should be makeable. Brandon's chip shot. 
Rolls out nicely, and he'll have about a five to six footer for yeah. to save his par. To save his par here. Well, good luck to you, Brandon. Well, I wonder if he can hear you. I think he can. Seems to be aimed a little left. Wow, it stayed left. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Brandon will drop a shot going to uh, going to plus one on the day. I haven't really noticed him lining up the tee much. Lining, up, lining the, up the shot, I mean. Lining up the shot. Getting behind the ball and checking out the line, really. That's something. One of his newer techniques. Just uh, trying to take less time with it. Couple of bogeys there. Couple of bogeys. I spoke to Brandon on the uh, putting green earlier today, and he said that he's been... Uh, Seen a lot better results doing it that way. Putting a lot better. I wish I had caught up with them earlier before the match and told them to maybe wear a decent pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> you must have talked to Jordan. He looks very fine today. Yeah, he is dressed pretty spiffy. I think his mindset was you dress well, you play well. He's, I've noticed he's... A lot, kinda, of, hands, a lot he, of hands on the hips. Is he sponsored by Nike? With all the Nike attire he wears? It's rumored. It's rumored to be in the works, but nothing is uh, set in stone yet. I think a lot of it is an incentive laden on the, how he performs in a JBG. Oh. Here's Brandon's approach shot on the par five, four fifth hole. I think Brandon's really a fan of Titleist and maybe also Adidas. Seems to be. Jordan's chip here, that just hmm, looked a little bit defunct on that one. I'm not quite sure why he's clearing sticks out up there. Unless he plans on putting it through all these leaves. I'm sure he's just taking any, any factor out of it that could uh, cause some errant shot. Maybe he's refer Ooh. maybe he's thinking back to his early days when he was a groundskeeper at Lisbon Bissell. That could be it. It's going with a punch shot here, trying to keep it low. That nah, didn't work. Went through the gap it looks like. That's what I'm he's been doing this the past couple of weeks as well, leaving himself 20, 25 foot par putts, and he's not going to be able to keep pace with the brand if he keeps that up. Wow, no. no. this is going to be a distance putt here. This is for par, it looks to be on the track. line. Oh, what a great effort, though. He Clean seems to not care. He would have rather seen that one go in the hole. Nicely played. Not bad, not a bad play from where he ended up there. Well, that's true. Good, good save. Here's Brand for a birdie. And this has been the difference between Brandon and Jordan this year on the tour. Uh, these are birdie putts for Brandon. In that distance from Jordan, those are par putts. That one was not struck very well. They say 90% of the putts left short don't go in. Is that right? That's a very telling stat. So Jordan drops another shot to Brandon here. Here's Brandon on the sixth hole. Par five, playing really short this uh, this afternoon. What a nice swing. So fluid and smooth. Free and easy. This is a stark contrast of swings here. Seems forced at times. Jordan's a second shot here, and it looks like he's got the three wood out. Probably his favorite club in the bag. That drive must have only gone about 200 yards. If that. He's got to watch out for water in front of the screen. Not sure that he knows it. It's leaking a bit to the right. But he's going to be all right. Look at the difference in... In clubs here for the approach shots. Mm -hmm. Brandon with a pitching wedge and Jordan with a 
a three wood. Mm, divots flying. I notice Brandon always leaves a nice divot. Takes a good divot. That's true. It's a, that's evident of a good ball striker. Is that a rock trap? That is. The Cottonwood Classic has its fair share of obstacles. and Boy, you don't see that very often. No, oh, but seems to be losing his cool. So yeah, I think he needs to step back and take a few breaths. He's left himself a pretty slippery one for a for boat, for a birdie. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got quite a bit of pace on it. Oh! He needed that one to go. Seems to be just burning edges here. And with all of his putts, he uh, takes quite a bit of time with them. Mm -hmm. Better to be safe than sorry. Mm. Those are my thoughts as well. Cleans out for par. He's kind of on a, a five streak here. With five fives and one three. Brandon with a birdie putt. Nice. Or is this an eagle? This is for eagle. This is for eagle. Wow, this is lengthy. Yeah. Shouldn't just clean that up for a birdie. What's Brandon shooting right now? I forget. I he believe under? if he knocks this one in, he'd be uh, even. Or no, he'd be one under. <laughs> oh! That's where he needs to take his time. Oh, that hurts. Mm -hmm. As they move to the seventh hole, a par three, 185 yards. Those hard misses really stick with the guy. He's been. Hopefully, he shakes it off. It's an unnecessary. Uh, shot lost there. Just tee off shot. And started to start well right. It's going to stay that way as well. Yeah, it looked like it came off the club kind of awkward there. Fun fact here at the Cottonwood. As Jordan takes his tee off shot here. One of the original founders, a, a young woman, actually made two holes in one in this hole. And the hole is dedicated to her. Funny it's called Cottonwood. There seems to be a lot of pine trees. Yes, this was uh, remodeled back from the earlier days. But they, they've stuck with the, the name for continuity issues on the JBG tour. You no know, cottonwood trees can be kind of bothersome with all the cotton that comes off them in, in the fall. It's, in my opinion, I don't know why they're on a golf course. Hmm. Friends, chip shot here that looks to be in the scoring zone. A fortuitous bounce there. Empty putt for Jordan. Once again, looks like 20 feet. Seems like they've been getting a lot of 20 footers. And this is for par again. A 20 hmm. foot par putt. This is what I'm talking about. He's never he is not in the scoring zone lately. Lots of angle on that one. Ooh. A lot of left to right on that. I think he's getting frustrated with the reads. He did read it pretty well, but he just didn't quite hit it hard enough, looks like. He had the right line. Should be able to just clean this up for a bogey. Whoa! Oh no! Oh. oh no! Oh, you hate to see that. Wow, we're not used to that from him. There's a <laughs> oh, there's an boy. instance where we let the motions get the best of him. That's might have to have a, I might have to have a talk with him after the match. I sure wish he would. Ben taps in his bar. Here's a two-shot swing. I know the sponsors don't like to see stuff like that. No, I don't know. I don't know what's gotten over him here, especially with their name on the hat. It seems quite disrespectful. His friends, TF shot. The wind seems to have picked up a little bit. As you yeah, can I see him. Brandon's shirt is flopping a little there. That yeah, should be center cut of the fairway. It's a good swing. 
I was really proud of it. Kept looking back at it. So, Commissioner, you've got to be impressed with how the JBG Tour has really picked up in popularity recently. Yeah. It has really... Oh, no. Jordan's having a little trouble here again. Hands on the hips. It has been uh, gaining popularity. We'd like to see more people at the courses, though, to watch the matches, but hopefully in the future. That is true. It's more of a... Well, you know, the kids these days, it's uh, all computers. When we got such... It's so readily available and great views that you can't follow the, the groups like you can on the computer like you do in real life. A lot of these are during the week when people can't actually see them and are working, so that's why we have this uh, this feed. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's very recording. Nice. Yeah, that's and, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brandon's hands on the hips as well here. It's like Jordan's chip shot here is third shot. It's got to go. That's just not going to... All right. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely yeah, going to have to talk a... with Jordan after the match. You just can't have that. He's starting to lose all control of his emotions. Guy needs to stop and count to ten and take a few deep breaths and just forget about it. He's just about having to count to ten on his he, strokes here. He should realize that uh, the JBG Tour is a... Uh, is a privilege, not a right. Just learn to uh, control his emotions better. It is true here. It's not good for the young viewers to see stuff like that. Mm, so here's his par putt. They never, never gave it a chance. chance. Never had a chance. Hopefully he steps back and takes a good look at this one. Looks like he's gained a little bit of composure here. And once again, he's sticking to his routine. If you notice that, he had that putt there just two holes ago. It's good to see. Good finish. There, Brandon, I noticed, was actually lining up the putt. Don't really see that from him much. This is for par. This would be a nice one. Good Perfect line. speed. Wow. Perfect. Get his bump. Center cup. We didn't forget his club there. Here he is teeing off on the... Ninth hole here. So like he's retained the box. Retained the box. Oh, his drive seems to leak out right here, and he's going to be playing up one fairway. That seems to be his primary miss is uh, just uh, a push. out to the right. Yeah, it's not a bad miss, but it seems to happen happen quite a bit. There's one of Jordan's better drives of the day. Is that the Dick Kramer Memorial Bench over there, or am I thinking of a different course? Oh, Commissioner, you're thinking of the Leonard Country Club. Oh, that's right. Yes, that's right. Dick, he was really a... He was something else on the, on the course, huh? He was really something. For those of you who don't know, Dick Kramer, he was the original winner of the JBG Tour, the Bourgeois Cup. Mr. Jordan has to punch out and see this is where he finds himself never really leaving him an approach shot I and mean, here he's already hitting his third so he has to get this in the scoring range it's just something he hasn't been doing no one should be alright he's sure watching it Here's Brandon here in his third shot. You want to get this one close. Just a routine up and down from here. Oh. And as I said last week, I'd like to see Brandon chip more with maybe like an 8-iron or something to get the ball rolling quicker. Yeah, I noticed a lot of his chips come up short. Those are easily correctable with more practice. Here's his par putt. Oh, Ooh. that's why he probably should like try using an eight iron, something with less loft on mm -hmm. it. He's just gonna tap this in for his bogey and ready for the turn. Oh. And here's a long putt for Jordan too. This is for par.
I know she might kind of be a fan of Jordan's. I just root for the man, and that's just going to be short. He's just going to have to tap that in here. After a quick word from our sponsors, we'll get you back around the turn to the next round. I'm still working on Mr. Reynolds. Hey, Steve, you got those reports I wanted you to get filed? Yeah, I'll give them to you by the end of the day. Welcome back everybody to the back nine coverage of the Cottonwood Classic here. Looks like Brandon will be up to tee after uh, shooting a 38 on the front. He'll have a five stroke lead going off here. Going with driver once again off the first tee. It uh, appears to be on the left side of the fairway. Should be in a good position for a second shot. Here's Jordan up to T next. He shot a 43 on the front nine. A seven over and is five back of the lead. He's gonna have to make a move here if he wants to make this competitive. I'm surprised at how well he's able to score um, considering that his drives uh, only go about 220 yards. If that. And he doesn't look pleased with this one. He's really struggling. I think he needs to take some time off and I think he right. needs to work on his swing. So yeah, take some time off and really grind. This is a approach here. It looks, to, looks like a seven iron. Walking and after it. I think that's going to be left of the green there. He should have a, an easy up and down. And after an outstanding drive by Brandon, he's got what appears to be. Is that his favorite club? Yeah, a 60 degree wedge. Is that his favorite club or his favorite club at this distance? Well, I believe it's his favorite uh, distance, and that just happens to be the club that he likes to use for that distance. No one's on a good path. Oh, that's snugged up there nice. That should be a tap in, Bergen. Jordan's short sighted himself with a bunker in front. He has to hit a high flop shot, have it land softly. Not a lot of green to work with here. It's a club he's not really comfortable using. 62 degree here. And then he just kind of played it safe and the right side, not too happy about it. So now once again, he's got about another 15. He's foot. got another, another 15 foot par putt. It's hard to score when he's got. He's got to put these in. He's putting a lot of pressure on himself. Mm. Oh. That says it all right there. Up in bogey, and there's a lot of fives on the card for Jordan this week. Look at this standing shot. Nice putt. Clean that up for birdie. Takes a six stroke lead now. With only eight to play. Well, let's see here on the second hole if uh, the golfers can improve on their, their team. What they did last time. They both hit worm burners to the left side of the green. Now these are supposed to be professional golfers. Well, it's the, the bourgeois cup. It has has its personalities. That looks like it's one off right. 
As Jordan comes to tea here, I just wanted to take time to thank the commissioner for stopping by and speaking with us for the, the whole front nine, doing a little commentary. Um, it's always nice to hear from him. That's great. Hopefully, hopefully he can stop by later on in the year and make another appearance. Whoa. Jordan, he appears to have uh, found one of the only bunk, one, maybe two or three bunkers on this entire course. That was a difficult. Plays it, plays it pretty well, though. Difficult out there. Brandon's missed to the right and gave himself, even though he missed the green eye, he's given himself a pretty good angle here. A lot of green to work with. And he's done That'll pretty work. well. Those six to seven foot putts, he is almost automatic. Yeah, he's really dialed in this year. Once again here. I want to keep bringing it up. I sound like a broken record, but it's a 12 foot par putt. Wow. That should be a confidence booster. Looks like a sigh of relief there. That was a good putt. Taking his time here, lining it up. Seems pretty confident, like he has the line. I really do love his putting stroke. Here he is with his par putt here. Oh! And oh. <laughs> he can't believe it. <laughs> wow! So that's that, unfortunate there. So that's uh, what Brandon does quite often on the tour. He uh, gets a birdie on one hole, next hole gives it right back with the bogey. It's Jordan. It's tee off on the par 5 third. Playing that, uh, that power cut. Except there's, it's not a lot of, a lot of power behind it lately. <laughs> Brandon opts for a driver as well here. Looking to take it up the right side. No, I don't want to take anything away from this round here, but where are we headed next on the tour? Uh, next on the tour is going to be the Barnesville Bonanza. Oh, yes. It's always uh, a great place to play. At the Willow Creek Golf Course mm -hmm. in Barnesville, Minnesota. They always know how to put on a, a good tournament. Uh, it's a regular on the bourgeois. It's a fun little course to play. Indeed, it is. It is little. <laughs> Very short, and that might help Jordan's um, scoring ability. Yeah, the players shouldn't have a hard time scoring around that course. Tournaments this one day. Here is Brandon's. Jordan's uh, seems to be giving Brandon a little banter here before his shot. Uh, that's a little uh, unsportsmanlike. Well, I think he's finally figured out he doesn't have much choice but to. He's being. I'll play massively here. Brendan is also playing up the fourth fairway. His shot just found the right rough here. Looks to be a nice easy chip in him. Should be able to get up and down for par. Looks like he's taking a less lofty club here and trying to get it to run a little bit. That's something we talked about too. We'd like to see him use this more. Yeah, I see. He seems to be a lot better. Seems to have a lot better results chipping with that than, than with his uh, higher lofted wedges. Now here, Jordan, he just needs to land it just on the down slope and should snug up nicely. Oh, no. hard bounce. Wow. That's kind of the story of the round for him. So he'll have this for birdie? This will be his birdie putt here, and once again, that's a... It's a tall order. Goes downhill a little bit. That's a two-tiered green. It's going to break to his left, our right. Just barely gets it to the to the ledge, though. Oh. He had that earlier. He should have learned from it. And this is Brandon for a for a birdie. Big, birdie. Yeah. It's about 15 feet. Let's see. Mm. Wow. That was knocks it in with a lot of pace, confident stroke. Oh, there's a lot of confidence in there. That's just gotta. That's gotta be demoralizing for Jordan here. As he taps in his par to know that even when he's making pars, he's losing strokes. 
Yeah, that cannot be a good feeling. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's Brandon on the tee off shot here. Number four. Great camera work by our fellows here at the JVG Tour. Brandon finds himself one under on the back nine here and one over total. Here's Jordan's tee off shot. And there's the early tee pickup, must like that one. It must be playable. This seems like a. Playing into the wind a, a little bit. Going with a longer longer iron from the fairway. I don't know if he picked it clean or not. It looks like it, but it looks to be fading onto the right. Brandon's in a monster drive, but he's played it down played it down the wrong fairway again. But his misses have been uh, ones he can deal with here, and that's just a nice wedge to the green. Just to one beyond. Well, when they start playing on tighter courses, though, that could come back to haunt them. It could. But I, I have confidence he'll he'll fix that. Here's Jordan once again. He's got the wedge in. Looks like it's 62. And that's. I don't know why he's using that. Looks back at his caddy in disgust, asking, "Why did you give me this club from here?" I don't know. Unless he's just assumed this round is maybe uh, one Brandon's going to win here and he's trying to work on some things. Is it birdie about to go for two under? Mm, runs it by. It's way too much space on it. There. And this is once again would be a par putt. Oh man. Tell you what, if we had a couple of those go in, this would be a different game. But that's golf. It's a mm, game of inches. It Usually it's a six in between the <laughs> years. <laughs> Brand looks to be enjoying himself. There's really no stress. Yeah, I think anybody would enjoy themselves when they're playing this well, especially for the Bourgeois Cup. That's true. And this for par. Been very good from this distance this year. Jeez, this is no it. exception. Knocks in with a lot of confidence. But there's a pace he can't describe on these putts that he has, and it's a uh, something to watch. Opting for the, the hybrid here. Just trying to play it, get him to his comfortable yardage from about 80 to 70 yards. That looks like it's gonna do it. Should be just fine. Jordan's gonna pull up the three medal. And I'd like once again, I know I sound like a broken record too, but I'd like to see him use his club a lot more on the course. His swing looks different with it. More more relaxed in my opinion. With the driver he almost seems like he's hitting it wanting to hit it so hard that he's really tensing up. I have with, to agree. With his three medal, he knows he can hit a good, so he's nice and relaxed. Not, but that's just my opinion. That's something he'll, he's going to have to work on here. Here's Bren's approach. Good tempo. It's got to get up. I think it clipped the trees a bit, but should be all right. Should be all right. There, once again, this is he just doesn't have an angle. And that hit some trees. He seems to be over it. There's a there's a look on his face that I've noticed. Oh, something somebody from the crowd maybe? No, I believe it's just that, that club. Yep, and he's putting away the 62 degree. I think the trees are in the way. Once again, has to get this close for a par. He's having to do a lot of scrambling here on the Bourgeois Cup. That's okay. It's a, good, it's a good effort. Now that's a putt. It's makeable. 
a birdie putt for Brandon. Le opting to leave the play again. Once again, trying to get the two under on the day. There's his putt. A lot of pace on it again. He does have a lot of pace on him. Uh, never up, never in, as they say. That's true. Might as well give it a chance for birdie. Here's a power putt that's got to go. Mm. Oh man. Starting to get uh, visibly frustrated out here. There is a lot of fives on the card. Another tap in bogey. And there, once again, Bren's putting for par, and he has a little longer putt than him. He's got to capitalize on those. Oh. Got to be unhappy with that. I think he is because of his, his game is... That could be one of the problems with his with the pace he's putting on them putts, too. I mean, if he's off by a centimeter, it's slipping out. And par 5 here, going with driver, trying to get a big draw around the corner. He's done just that. Well done. Jordan seems to be lined up way left here. And that's coming around right here, and that looks to be uh, very short as well. No, it wasn't, wasn't half bad. It wasn't his worst, no, and he's in the short grass. His approach. It's gotta go. He caught, caught it a little fat. He drops his head in disgust. Just nothing's working. He's ran in the center cut. It's a relatively short par 5 uh, on the JBG Tour. This is only maybe 450 yards or so. Oh, wow. Downwind. I don't think he caught that well. That could be headed for trouble. Mm. Mm. He's found the rock hazard. So he's going to have to drop. He'll be hitting 4 from there. Got to get up and down here. going with here. Is it the 60? Yeah, that's the 60. All he's really got to do is to get to the very top of the hill and this should roll down next to the hole. Oh, that's landed short. Oh man, well short. Here's Jordan with his third. That give, him, give himself a good look at birdie, though. A birdie chance. You know, make a one at that. Here's Brandon's par chip. Oh. Well, that's got to roll. Nice. Looks left like himself a downhill right to left. Or he's surrendering oh, one. He. Possibly two. Keep it together here. Stop the bleeding. This has been a great round by him. I'd hate to see it go this way. Oh, he knocks it in. What a putt. What a player. Now it looks like somebody who's poised to be the Bourgeois Cup champion. It does. It does. Here's Jordan Fur his first birdie of the day. Trying to get two strokes back on Brandon. That would be nice for confidence. Had the pace down. Man. Where did that miss? It looks like it missed on the right. Hmm. That's another five on the card. Here they are making their way to the 
16. He's got honors for one of the few times today. That's true. He looks to have hang that out right. Look out for the trees. Oh, he's got quite the kick. He's found it in the left side of the fairway. That was lucky. <laughs> it was lucky. As Brad and T's off here on the 16th hole. I'd like to take a moment just to thank our sponsors who have uh, helped us make this JBG tour in the Bourgeois Cup possible. Um, I'd like to thank Dark Suede. I'd also like to thank Gassers. I, I uh, like to use Gassers myself sometimes. Yes, yeah, so it's not bad. I'm all sitting next to you for four hours. <laughs> you know. You should try out there our new scent, Blue Moon. Yeah, that is a, it's a great smell. Whoever thought of that was a, what a great That's idea. a great idea, yeah. If, I, if only I had thought of it. You know what I think could, could use some dark suede right about now. <laughs> yeah, he'll have a tall glass of dark suede when he gets into the clubhouse. This is one he wants to forget. Brand's got this for par, trying to stay even on the back nine. Two over overall. This is a long putt here. I'm not sure how he ran it that far past the hole, but this is putt. That didn't look like it had it. Oh, it clips the edge. I didn't see it coming back that way, but he's got to restrain himself. You know, he's 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 got this in hand. I'm just trying to play play uh, loose and carefree. Yeah, just play safe down the stretch. And burns by his par putt. Just he hasn't made any putts. Hasn't given himself a chance to make any. Just clean up for bogey. <laughs> sarcastic, uh, sarcastic smile there. If you remember the first round, he missed about a six inch putt. Oh yeah, putt. that is right. So I think that's what he was laughing about. And this for bogey for Brandon. It's kind of on a train here. Don't want to make it a a habit, but only two to play here. Teeing off on the 17th. He's he's got it well in hand. This is basically his victory lap. There's one thing Jordan can take about take away from this is he did uh, take box away. If you want to call that as a victory, uh, sure. Well, I think he's got a he's got to start there. I mean, you got to commend commend him though for, for sticking through it. Brandon has a great drive here. He now is he may have found some trouble? Three over on the day. That's a long iron. That's a long iron from here. That's a, the, his driver is going nowhere. I mean, this hole, in theory, should be driver pitching wedge, and he's hitting four irons into these greens. That's true. And Brandon has found the bunker here with a kind of an awkward lie. I'm not sure what type of play he has from here. Maybe just trying to punch it out a couple yards and stay out of the way of the trees. This. This shot reminds me of that song, Downhill Lie by Appropriate Downhill. Oh, I love that song. Just can't get it out of my head. No. I'm glad they're back. They got the band back together. Two out of three, anyway. And they just they came out with a new live unplugged oh, album. Oh, is that right? Yes, and it's, uh, it's one for the ages. <laughs> I'd recommend you, you go get in. Viewers, um, take a peek as well. They're, they're a great band, and... Should be a household name here. Oh, he's found himself some sort in of, some trouble some here. Some sort of nest in front of him there. I'm not really in I'm liking the way he's finishing the round here. No, me neither. This would be very his, sloppy. This is his par. Just 
fourth shot here. He's just got a 60 degree again. Good sounding hit. Might be a long, long putt for bogey there. Didn't seem too thrilled with it. He's Jordan with his third. He's got to get it up and in, and that didn't have enough on it. He's got to do better than that. Oh, we have seem to have some, some technical difficulties technical there. Technical difficulties here. We've, I'm sorry about that, folks. Um, seem to have lost our video. Um, the funding for the, the Bourgeois Cup is... Not where it has been, it's limited. been limited, so um, both players finished their... I believe Brandon ended up with a double bogey in that hole? Yes, and, and Jordan tapped in for his bogey uh, as well, another five, and here are two tee-off shots, and Jordan finds the fairway, and looks to be 150 yards away here. It's a rare, rare feat from yes, today. The eight iron, and... That looked like a different swing there. It looked a lot more confident, relaxed. Man, that's a green. Hit the green. <laughs> he can't believe it. <laughs> Here's Brad, he seems to have found some tree trouble. Here. Just stumbling his way, way to the finish here. But once, he, that's kind of the luxury he has. It's a. He's got. Such a big lead, it doesn't really. That's that's true. Doesn't really phase him here. We'd still like to see him finish a lot stronger than what he is. Seems to have gotten it through there, and it's just going to be in the short left front, and uh, he'll have his walk up the the last hole here. What a, what a round. What a round this week has been for, for Brandon. And he, even though these last couple of holes haven't gone the way he, he wants to, he's, his game is in the right place. If he sinks this, that'll be his second victory on the Bourgeois Cup, the JBG Tour race for the Bourgeois Cup. What a what a putt from there. And a nod to the, to the crowd. He's just going to tap this in for a, a 78. That's not a bad score. It's a great score. And... Class act there. He takes the hat off and firm handshake. What a great player. Here's here's Jordan. He wants this for birdie. His lone birdie attempt of the of the weekend. Of the weekend. Needs it to go here. Uh, he's got a lot to work on. If this goes, that could be a big confidence booster. Oh, good putt. Takes his hat off to. The, to the crowd and goes and handshakes brand what a round thanks for watching folks <laughs>